Hi, Chrome here. This time testing how smoke grenades look on different graphics settings. First up, ultra settings. As you can see, everything's maxed. This requires a .ini file edit to achieve. We're going to throw a smoke grenade and watch what happens. So that took about 17 seconds for the smoke to clear from the central area and 20 before the last traces went away. Next up, here's a smoke grenade on high settings. Again, about 17 seconds until the central area cleared, and 20 seconds until the rest of the smoke went away. Next, here's a smoke grenade on medium settings. Again, about the same amount of time to clear the central area and to dissipate completely. Finally, here's a smoke grenade on low settings. So the smoke grenade on low settings lasts about the same amount of time, but is much less dense and covers much less area, providing a clear advantage over a smoke grenade on medium, high, or ultra settings. Next, here's an underbarrel smoke grenade fired from a Gauss Compact S on ultra settings. The underbarrel smoke on Ultra lasts exactly as long as it did from a smoke grenade. Here's the underbarrel smoke grenade launcher on high settings. Underbarrel grenade smoke on high settings lasts about the same time as Ultra. Here's this underbell smoke grenade on medium settings. Seventeen seconds to clear the central area again on medium. And finally, here's the underbell smoke grenade on low settings. So again, on low settings, the smoke grenade from an underbarrel launcher covered much less area and was much less dense than on medium, high, or ultra settings. And in addition, on the underbarrel launcher, cleared the area of impact about six seconds faster than it did on any of the higher settings. So in conclusion, there's a noticeable advantage to using smoke on low settings. It doesn't cover as much area, it's easier to see through and underbarrel smoke clears earlier on low settings than it does on medium, high, or ultra.